Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how you can take your world from looking like this to looking like this. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share and subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos, and check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft stuff. Getting this kind of realism is actually pretty easy to do. It just requires installing a shader into your game. Now, to run a shader, you have to have Optifine installed first and then you can install the shader on top of Optifine. And I'll show you how to do all of that. Let's switch back to the desktop and I'll show you where to find Optifine and also where to find shaders. The first thing you'll need is just to find Optifine. That's easy, it's optifine.net. And this is a program which really improves how Minecraft runs on your system. Notice it has support for shaders right down here. But it does a lot more, not just the shaders. It's going to be increasing your frames per second in here, decrease lag spikes, smoother gameplay, a lot of other things that are really worth running Optifine. Now the only problem with Optifine, let me just show you this right now, go here to the downloads section, you find your downloads right here. The only problem right now is that the latest version is for Minecraft 1.16.1, 16.1 right there, and the latest version of Minecraft is 16.2. So if you've updated your world to 16.2 or you've updated your resource packs to 16.2, they're not going to work with the latest Optifine, which is only 16.1. Hopefully they'll update this pretty soon and get this current with the current version of Minecraft. Okay, go ahead and download that. The download's right here. Fast, easy download. It will download as a jar file. You double click on that and it's going to install that into your game as a new game installation. I'm gonna bring up the folder on that. I'll show you what that looks like. And it'll also bring up the launcher for Minecraft so you can see what that looks like as well. Okay, here's where I downloaded the Optifine right there. It comes in as a jar file. Simply double click on that, it's going to then run that and install that. And here's the Minecraft launcher. You can see right down here, it's now been installed as one of your options right there, as one of your game options right there. Okay, let's now take a look and see where you can find the shader packs. I just did a search for Minecraft shaders on Google and you have lots and lots of options in here. Now, one thing to be aware of on shaders, you need a fast computer, good video card, all that kind of stuff for these things to run. Now, if you don't have that fast of a computer, you can still do shaders. It's just that your options are a little less. You won't have as many available. But there are some that are great for low end to high end. One of my favorites that does both is this one over here, and it's called Silder's Shaders. And there's a link, I'll put that link in the description so you can just click on that. The nice thing about Silder's Shaders is if we scroll down here a little bit, you'll see that they have different shaders here, starting from light, going up through medium, high, extreme and extreme volumetric lighting. So several different versions or levels of the shader depending upon how fast and how powerful your computer is. So if you try one of these and it's bogging your computer down, just try the one that's next down on that list until you find one that runs well. I'll be showing you the medium one here. It's a nice option for almost any computer really. I haven't found a computer that really can't run medium yet. It's a pretty good choice and it looks great. That's what I showed you at the beginning of the video. Let's go ahead and download the medium version right there. Now one little warning in here is that there's this ad in between. Look at the upper right hand corner and just wait for that to come down to zero seconds up there and say skip. Wait for that, click on that button, and there's the download button for that shader. I'll go ahead and I'll download this into my downloads folder right there. Choose save. Downloads real fast. These aren't very big files. And let's now switch over and take a look at that folder, which I have right there. And there it is. We just downloaded this medium shader right here. Now to put this into the game, it's kind of like using a resource pack. You have to get it into the resource pack folder. In this case, I put this into the shaders folder. And then once it's there, you can then access that from inside of the game. Now to do that, it's just like working with any other resource pack. You can use the percent app data percent shortcut and then just copy this over. Let me go ahead and do that. I'll bring up a file window here for that. There we go. And let's just do that percent app data percent. There's the Minecraft folder. And in here, right there, there's shader packs. And you can just copy it over into here. Just take it and I'll just right drag and drop it in there and copy. There we go. It's all you have to do. Or you can also bring up the same folder from inside the game. Okay, that's all set up. Get this out of the way and these things out of here. So we've already installed the Optifine right there. And we've already copied the shader pack over into the game's shader pack folder. So that's all set to go. Let's go ahead now and play. And as soon as this launches, I'll then show you how to activate that shader pack. 
Okay, let's go ahead and go full screen. There we are. So we're inside of the Optifine game. Let's come down here to Options and you go up to Video Settings right there. And then in Video Settings, come down to Shaders. Notice all this other stuff. All of this comes in with Optifine. There's a lot more video settings when you have Optifine installed. But we care about Shaders right there. And in here, so we find the one that you want to run. That's that one we just downloaded right there. Here's a shaders folder if you want to open that up from the game. Instead of using the app data option right there, you can do it that way. Right hand side, lots of options over here for adjusting your shader. More options down here. All of everything at its default settings. Let's click on done. Click on done again. And then done one more time. Let's now launch our world in here. Now notice that this world, my main world, that's a 16.2 and it's not going to run with this. My music one is a 16.2 as well. I'm using the B's up here, which at this point is still 16.1, so that works out just fine. I'll play that game, and we'll load this in, and then we can take a look at how this shader looks. We'll also go back out to the resource packs, and I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment here, so you can see the difference in the resource packs that will run and the ones that won't run. Okay, there we go. There's the clouds up there, real nice looking, very realistic clouds. You can see that the grasses are waving a little bit in here. It'll go lighter and darker also on the view, depending on whether the sun is behind a cloud or not. You look up here, the sun's a nice round sun instead of a square sun. The water looks just fantastic, as you can see right there. I mean, it really, really improves the look of the game. And this one, this medium version, runs on almost anything. Let's just back up just a step here, and we'll take a look at the options. So to adjust these settings, just go into Video Settings, and then go into shaders right here and there are all of your basic adjustments and then there are more options right down here loads of stuff anti-aliasing colors fog options map sky and lighting shading emissive light lots of stuff you can come in here and control so it runs exactly the way you want it to run okay let's get out of that and done done again here now if you're working with 16.2 go into resource packs these are all my 16.2 resource packs and see that these are not going to run inside of the 16.1 Optifine. So none of that runs. My spacesuit here runs, I have a 16, you know, 1.16 spacesuit. So I have that in the game. I'm just ignoring everything else. I'm not going to bother with all of that stuff for the shader. So if you see all this red stuff, it just means that those are versions that are not going to run in Optifine. And that most likely means you've updated your resource packs to 16.2 instead of the 16.1 that Optifine runs. Okay, that's all done. Back to game, and there we go. A little bit of shading there on those clouds, and there's the sun again. So there it is. That's how you can make your game look absolutely fantastic by just adding in one of these shader packs. I mean, take a look at that. That's just, just great. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you click on share and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers so that I can do this full time for you. So make sure you subscribe to everybody you know to subscribe as well. Let's get that subscribe count up. And I'll be doing a bunch more videos. Make sure you comment. I always answer comments. I take suggestions for new videos. Whatever you like, I'm there for you. Okay, and I'll see you next time.